Okay. Hey, hey, how you doing? I'm alright, bro. I can you? see you are enjoying your private time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Joanne, how you doing? I'm okay. You look beautiful as usual. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to miss you, sweetheart. I know. But don't worry. I'll be back again next weekend. Oh, that'll be good. Next weekend. Yeah. Oh, did you say next weekend? Yes. Oh. This is not good at all. Next weekend will be possible. Yeah, I remember. I next weekend is booked already. I will be traveling next weekend and the upper one. It's official. Yes. Where are you going? Didn't I tell you? I thought I did. No. The company I work with will be sending me on the leadership course. That will last for two weeks in Ghana. Oh, wow. Two weeks is such a long time for you to be away. I know, I know. But it's okay. I'll be here tomorrow. And I'll also be here next tomorrow. At least let me spend quality time with you before you leave. Oh, that will be cool. Uh, I'm going to miss you. Honestly. I'll miss you too, baby. I'll miss you. Don't worry. Okay. I'll get you some goodies when I get back from Ghana. <laughs> So, I trust you. Don't you trust me? <laughs> I trust you. Uh -huh. Okay. No problem. So I'll see you tomorrow, right? All right, see you. Come All here. Right. Love you. I love you. <laughs> bye. Okay, bye. Be good, okay? Bye. <laughs> Bro, man, that was good. That was a terrific performance you just did right now. Say that again. No, you had it yourself this time. You good. <laughs> Your delivery was so perfect, bro. I think you should consider acting a career. Mm. For real? You good, bro. <laughs> you make the learn now. <laughs> That's what do I do? Eh? I need to tell her something. What did man go do? Yes. No man lamba. And she believed you. Nobody go in job. <laughs> but you see, that's really unfair, you know. Mm. What do you mean? You're being unfair to that girl. She loves you so much. My brother, relax, Yari. Ah, we shall be, you are being unfair. It's life fair. The life you are living is it fair. I don't understand. I know she loved me. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I have made up my mind already. I have someone I want to get married to. As a matter of fact, I am ready to settle down. But not with a city girl. Alright? Not with a city girl. Did I tell you I'm getting married by next weekend? Really? Of course. You're getting married? Ah, I, I didn't tell you. No, you didn't. Now what for you? See you. <laughs> I, I would. Have you considered what will happen to her then? Consider what? What happened to her? That one on the street. Huh? That street's go fine. Huh? Number five, have you considered what will happen to her? That street's go fine where we're alone, but <laughs> let me tell you something. Eh? Thanks, Life is not fair. That's true. I have made up my mind. Alright? And that is fine now. You should be getting ready for my wedding. Anyway, drink up. Let me take you out to feed you again. You know, let's pay for your meal, so let's go do it. Something mm. warming for your head. <laughs> you hear the smell for you your side. You money. <laughs> As if you are the one that is feeding me. Ah, make I go pay for your food, Dad. Do you know what job? Uh, dude, are you go pay, Sha? Normal level. <laughs> wow. Two weeks? <laughs> it's a long time for him to stay without you. Why can't he take you with him to the trip? <laughs> He's going on a business trip, not for pleasure. And so? He go put you for hotel when he day now. Yes, you know go they follow him, they go in business. At least, when he returns from work, you will be massaging him. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I think you're right, too. I, I think, think you are right. Maybe I should tell him about it, but... <laughs> I know him very well. He will not agree to it. Why would you say that? He is your man. Talk to him about it first and see what he thinks. She both of you go see tomorrow now. Yeah. Uh -huh. No problem. I'll talk to him and see what he thinks. I just, I just pray he accepts. <laughs> it will be fun. <laughs> see what you will do. When you see him tomorrow, tell him how you are going to make the two weeks. Fun for him. Hmm. 
babe be pressuring this guy so he would take you serious. Of course he takes me serious. What are you saying? Says who? If he is serious with you, why hasn't he married you? I be his mates are not getting married yet. Hmm? Yeah, sweet team. I was just on my way to your house, but my car broke down. What there. did you call me? He said something is wrong with you. What did you call me? Who is your sweetie? Eh? Who is your sweetie? Listen, why are you pestering me? No, I want to know. Have I not warned you? Why are you following me around? What did I do to you? What's not again? You know what? Let's take a taxi down there. Let's go. No. We're not taking any taxi until I tell this piece of crap my mind. You see you, respect yourself. Stop following me around. See, eh? the next time you see me on the road and you stop me or even talk to me, eh? I will arrest you. Kaikuri, I will arrest you for stalking. What is all this now? Eh? Is it by force? Go and look for your, your, your level. Go and look for your mates. We are not the same. Go and look for your fellow poverty stricken people. Leave me alone. I don't want to say it again, no, because this is not the first time I'm telling you this. Stay on your own. Respect uh, yourself. Uh, Joan, Please, that's I'm enough. Going. Let's go. Uh, I'm sorry for what happened, okay? Joan, I love you so much. No matter what you do or say to me, it doesn't stop the fact that I love you so much. Shabby, you're seeing it. Joanne, Shabby, you're seeing it. Just calm down. Calm down. Why did Please. you even apologize to this monkey? Why? Who is he? Why would you apologize to him? Joan, that's enough. We are in public. It's okay. You are shouting. Respect yourself. Let's go. I, I love you so much, Joan. Please don't do this to me. Okay, Joan, you are Don't worry, I'll shut the door. Yes. Welcome to my humble abode. Mm. <laughs> Make yourself comfortable. No, 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 don't touch it. It's spoon? No, it's not spoon. That's a, that's a clock. It's hey. a designer's clock on the wall, so. <laughs> you like it? This place is very fine. Hey? It's very fine and beautiful. Thank I like you. it where we're. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Hey. I'm glad. My husband. Mm -hmm. See. <laughs> thank you, Wewe. Thank you so much. See, eh, I won't thank you. You just leave all these uh, city girls where they the city. Come village, come marry me. <laughs> Hi. Uh, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. I have no interest in the city girls with their bad and ill-mannered attitude. Mm. It is you that I like. It is you that I love. I've seen you, fell in love with you, and now <laughs> you are my wife. I'm so glad about it. Oh, hmm? oh, mama. <laughs> eh? Thank you. But uh, my husband, though, hmm. I don't come city well, well. Like several times with uh, my uncle. Oh, really? So I'm a city girl. Oh, uh, no, no. That doesn't make you a city girl. Okay? You are quite different from the average city girl with a bad attitude. You, you are well cultured. And that is why I love you. Hey. Yes. So, what makes somebody a city girl? Ah, uh, well, a city girl is a girl who is based in the city. Not just that. A city girl is so particular about materialistic things. Mm. They want to use artificial hair, artificial 
bomb, artificial. I don't want to name them. You understand what I'm trying to say. But you, you are quite different. Hey. You look so natural, my African queen. Hey, my husband, that's the one more. Hey, I foresee why you just leave all of them and come marry me. So now I'm a city girl. Of course, you are a city girl. Yes. Not just a city girl, but the one I can call my wife. Uh -huh. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. I love you. Hey, thank you, my husband. Uh, enough. You need to rest now, okay? So okay. let me lead you to your bedroom. Okay. Ah, this place is very fine, though. <laughs> it's not yours. You don't become city girl. It's ours, okay? Not mine. It's ours. Ours. So let's go. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What are you smiling at? Your beauty, of course. Hey. <laughs> and giving gratitude to God Almighty. Not just for making you my wife, but the best cook in the world. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying it. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, baby. Oh, awesome. Thank you. See, today is the first time you're eating my food and you're telling me all these good, 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 good things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because it's true. Try. I can't keep it to myself. I have to give you the compliments. Oh, you're wow. the best in ever. <laughs> Thank you. Huh? There you go. Hey. Hmm. I used to see this thing in the movie mm. and they will just leave it like this. <laughs> 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 Maybe pack food where where this thing you're taking so much more is not like that. I'm eating. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying the meal. Mm -hmm. I've never enjoyed fried rice the way I'm enjoying this one. Yeah. Maybe you tell me the recipe. That's how my mother cooks it. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I see where you got it from. <laughs> You. I'm, I'm fine. You're looking so beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. How are you doing? I'm fine. How mm -hmm. about your friend Joan? Oh, she's okay. Um, look, I am sorry for the way she spoke to you the other time. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. I understand. I know it takes a whole lot of tolerance, patience to get a lady, a sophisticated lady like Joan. So I'm just going to continue pressing on, hoping that 
she will consider me one day. It's okay. I, I understand. But don't you think she's doing too much? Like you literally mean nothing to her. I understand. But Joanne is a nice girl. She has a good heart. She's beautiful. I love her. I just don't know why she's treating me the way she does. But, like I said, I'm going to continue pressing on. Fred, you are a good guy who doesn't deserve what she's doing to you. Are you sure you are going to continue with this? Stella, listen. Sometimes I feel like I deserve all that she's doing to me now. You know, before now, I used to be extremely hard on ladies. I used to think that the world revolves around me. I used to think I'm the most handsome man in the world. Not until girls dealt with me and experience taught me how to seek for love and not waiting for ladies to seek to me. So, you have no idea that Joanne is the first lady I made an effort to get by myself. So, I kind of feel like I deserve all that she's doing to me. But I'm not giving up. Uh, your story is quite touching. Uh, see. I wish you all the best, okay? Thank you. You're a nice girl. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> My sweetheart. <laughs> My beautiful wife, you're so lovely and sexy. <laughs> Damn. As a matter of fact, you're the sexiest woman in the whole wide world. <laughs> Give me a reason why any man will not fall head over heels for you. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> my husband, all these things you're telling me will be making my head to be going jiggy jiggy bam bam. <laughs> <laughs> I hope your head is not just swollen, eh? Which is a fact. You're beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. My husband, mm -hmm. tell me um about your past uh, relationship. <laughs> Do I have one? Oh, but I've told you all those boys that are you know following me in the village that I refuse. So tell me your own. Ah. <sighs> I'm just trying to think. Do I really have a past? <laughs> hmm? Tell me, she is the person like me, or is she? <laughs> Tell me now. It's okay. It's okay. I'll tell you. Okay. I have a son, a 12 years old son. Yes, <laughs> he's in Calabar. The mom is from Calabar. Yes. You're not serious. <laughs> ah, but you said you, you, I should tell you what you want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a 12 years old son, mm -hmm. then how old were you then? Do you know if I was in primary school when I when I had him? <laughs> eh? You're lying. You don't want to tell me. Okay, let me be serious. Truth is, my past doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter to me anymore. What matters to me right now is you. My very perfect woman. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love you. Sweet potato. 
If where are you going to hope let me give you a ride? Uh, taxi driver, please, I am not going anywhere. Thank you very much. I'm not going anywhere. But you can't possibly be standing here if you're not waiting for a cab. Let I, me take you to anywhere said, you're going to. Don't take me. I don't want to go with you. Go. Haba. Try. Bro, Joanne, you know I love you so much. Why are you doing this to me? Must you call my name? Must you call my name? Or come on, I'm again. Must you call my name? Ah, ah. What kind of embarrassment is this? Leave me alone now. Why are you always following me around the whole place? And maybe you just go away. Leave me alone. You know I love you so much. Chineke me. Chineke. How dare you touch me? Are you mad? Is something wrong with you? It's, 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 it's like you're mad, though. It's like you're mad. How many times have I told you to, to, to leave me alone? You want me to embarrass you before you leave me? Why are you doing this thing to me? You're embarrassing me. People are looking at us. It's unfair now. Huh? Jesus Christ. Joanne, please now. Oh, for love. You have oh, mental problems. Go! Shoo, shoo, shoo away from me. You have mental problems. My God. Bam, 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 bam. Ah, ah. Joanne, please, I love you. Please. Let me just drop you anywhere you're going. How many times have I told you that I have a man? Have I not told you that I have a man? I told you that I have a boyfriend. I have a serious man in my life. But no, you will not leave me alone because you have coconut head. Leave me alone. Uh -huh. Chine Fool. You will drop me anywhere I want to go to. Where? Yes. Eh. Let the devil drop your destiny where you don't want it to go to. Please. If you come near me again, if you come. Joanne, is unfair. You, you know I love you so much. Why, why, why are you treating me like this? It's, it's unfair. I'll quit your love. But you're not picking your calls. Really? Ah. Oh. Maybe it was when I was having issues with that useless boy, Fred. <laughs> really? Ah. I gave him the disgrace of his life today. Is he mad? Ah, babe, just calm down. Eh? Just take it easy with him. See, eh? The next time that guy approaches me, I will arrest him. Huh? Hmm. I will arrest him because he's becoming so annoying. Uh uh. It's too much. Ah, babe, just calm down. It's okay. Just take you. it easy with him, okay? I hear you. I want to ask you something. Hmm. When was the last time you spoke with your man, Mona? He chatted me up yesterday and told me that his business meeting is going on fine. Hmm. That means he is still in Ghana? Yes. Really? I don't understand. Why are you asking? That's strange. Why is this strange? It's because I saw him or someone that looks like him at the shopping mall today. Mm. Maybe you saw someone that looks like him. You know, people resemble. Juan, mm. I know about this doppelganger thing. I think you should just check up on him. Because this one, trust me, he looks so much like him. I think I saw him. 
listening, Fred, listening. That is if you were listening this time around. Not just about hearing, but to listen. Let this girl go. This girl doesn't love you at all. That's the sad truth. You do. You do. I thought that I would have her. I was so optimistic about it. This is a girl that I would want to spend the rest of my life with. I was so certain that she would accept me. I was so certain that I would be with her. I was so certain that I would make her my wife. But unfortunately, that used to be like a dream, but now it's like a nightmare. See how the gay has been disgracing me now. What's even too special about the gay? I don't even know. You know? Man, let that gay go. You have been disgraced a couple of times, you know? For something, what have you, in fact, what have you not done? What have you not done? I'm just talking to you as a friend. That's the, you know, the pain, the sad truth. Sometimes truth is bitter, and this is the case. That gay doesn't love her. Do. He do. Right now, I'm so confused and I'm, I'm bitter. It's not that easy to let go of someone that you truly do love. I don't know. Could it be there is something that is expected of me to do that I have not done yet? I think so. Sell your taxi, empty your account, cut your legs and go and sell it. Then give the whole money to the gear. Then maybe that's what you need to do. You've done everything. Look at what you're saying. You're sounding like Romeo here. Man, guy, I don't even know whether you've been giving something to. What Are you hypnotizing something? At least, come on, says This girl doesn't love you. And it's simple. You walk out. Let this slide. Move on. There are other good girls out hey, there. I want to ask you one thing. What is it? Have you ever been in love before? Ah, there you go, man. Did you smoke? Which one is it? Have I ever been in love before? Did you smoke for Which one is it? Have I ever been in love before? We're talking about this. Talking about this. Okay, now go, now go. Until the gears slow. You can't sleep. <laughs> I see me can rest. No problem. Take your food here. Yeah? Ah, my food. Hey. Breakfast in bed. Hey. <laughs> Madam, God go bless you. It's okay. Thank you. Madam, you are the best. Hey. Hey. Madam, you are the best among the rest. You are the best on top of the best. We better pass the best. You mean I'm? I swear. I do the best. I swear to God, madam. Yeah. See eh? Before God finally marry you, hey. all the girls when they come here, all of them are be, 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 Benita, blessing. Nobody don't enter best. Now you be the best. You, hey. <laughs> Sai, you mean say uh, other girls they come? Uh, Madam, now fellowship. Hey. <laughs> then they call uh, prayer. Hey, mm, yeah, fellowship. But I mean fine. I now mean you, the now you be the best among the rest. Yeah. God bless you. <laughs> May my God. Bless you. Amen. Amen and amen. amen. Don't worry. Mm. Just uh, uh, eat your food. If you chop finish, you know, do you. Yeah. Make you come inside. Come collect another Make one. I come now. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure say this one go do me. Hey, you know go do you. Uh, Make I go to shop. Yeah. So that when you finish this one, you don't chop another one. You see? One. You see? <laughs> see? I just sleep. But now you carry this one. Come. Uh, Drink fast in bed. Yes, in bed. <laughs> oh yeah, enjoy. Yeah. God bless no you. Talk. Make it too. No talk. I know. Now you are kindness. Now you they trick me. Yeah, this one not you trick me. Sea fish, this is an original fish. But I'm going to bless you. Thank you. Madam, I like the mangue. You put enough mangue where it's supposed to be. All well, those girls where they carry mangue, mix and with salt. Hmm? You no, know, know the difference between mangue and salt. Hmm. Silence, how are you? And who are you? What kind of stupid question is that? Are you okay? <laughs> eh? My friend, please get out. Hey, 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 hey. Where do you think you're going to? You think you can just come in like that and I will open the door for you? Listen, I don't have time for rubbish this afternoon. Mm. As you can see, the sun is too hot. So I can't stand under the sun and be banding wet with you. So get out. Madam, you are going nowhere. Eh? 
you are going nowhere. So I am the only person that is good to stand under the sun and be baggy where else with you. I can see you're very stupid. Do you know that? You are very stupid and you are so mannerless. Do you know that your ogre can suck you for this rubbish? Do you know that? <laughs> he can only do that online. Online sucking. Call him on the phone and give him the order to, to, to suck me. Wait, 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 wait. Is he in town? Madam, all this job question, I know they like Asaram. My ogre day town. My ogre day town. Call him for phone. He go tell me what I go do. You ask me, is he, is he in town, sister? <laughs> wait, wait. Let it not be what I am thinking of. Which is? You know what I am talking about. Wait, have you tried reaching him on the phone? I've been calling him and he has refused to pick my calls. He hasn't been taking my calls, I don't understand. My God. Juan. Juan. What is it? I saw him with a lady. Hmm? And I am very sure they are having a pain. <laughs> no, 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 no. It cannot be my Mona. No way. I mean, he cannot do anything like that to me. He loves me so much. In fact, it's not possible. It's not him. Let me even call him. It's not him. <laughs> Juan, he refusing to take your calls can only mean one thing. I hope you know that. You mean she was here earlier? The, the fair madam. Yes, she came here. She called the rig. The para said she go pull down the gate. I say show. Okay, no be smart, you know. No be smart, I swear. Really? Really. Did my wife come out when she was trying to do that? Eh, madam. Madam, no. You know, see her. Madam, they say in the sleep. Madam, no see her at all. Okay. Okay. If we come next time, make her open the gate for her. Try it. Uh, uh, try it. Open the gate for her and lose your job. Jesus. Okay, Bego. This one you don't enter to. You don't enter to the threatening me with losing my job. I know go try. We can lock this gate. For this has to come God help that bitch. God help her. As in, if I lay my hands on her, it is only God that will save her. It is only God that will save her. Juan, please calm down. Remember, he is the one that betrayed you here and not the so called bitch. Maybe he told her that he doesn't have a girl in his life. You know how men behave. Even at that. No, even at that. What rights does she have to date my man? Who gave her that right? Who is she? Is she mad? Eh? Hey, let me tell you something. You see, Muna. Muna is mine. And I will not share him with anyone. Not anybody at all. It will not happen. It will not happen. Ah, you now you know you, you know what I sacrifice. You know everything I sacrifice in this relationship. Is it my time? Is it my energy? Is it my money? Is... Hey! Then one useless goat from nowhere thinks she can just come and snatch him away from me. <laughs> Mua. What am I did? You know me now. You know fear happen. It will not happen. Yes. In fact, it can only happen over my dead body. See, Juan. I understand how you feel, but you just have to calm down because you don't know what really went wrong, okay? <laughs> ah! You are. Oh. Yeah. Are you okay? Uh, <clears throat> I'm fine. You're not fine, baby. You look sad and, you know, withdrawn since you came back. What could be the problem? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's because of the workload here. Yeah. Too much workload at work in my office. So I'm just under pressure. I'll be fine. I'm so sorry. You should have told me. 
You know, I would have massaged you. Oh, come on, sweetheart. You shouldn't be sorry here. I should be the one saying sorry. Because I don't have a reason to let uh, the pressure I pass through at work affect our relationship at home. I'm truly sorry. <laughs> you don't have to be sorry, okay? Come here. Just come and lie down. I knew it. I knew it would get to this point. I warned you, I begged you, but you won't listen. I told you to break up with Juan before getting married to your beloved wife. But you didn't listen. You still went ahead to, <laughs> to marry her. Now you see? You see what you've gotten yourself into. How did she get the information that I am in town? Oh, really? You're in town now? Huh? Are you in your village? Go listen. You know you can't hide the truth forever. Go to Juan. Settle it with her. Tell her the news that you're married. She'll eventually move on with her life. That is after she must have ranted. She will definitely vest. Then she will move on with her life. And that is it. You should have done that instead of her. I don't know. You just know. I don't, I, why are you so scared of telling her these things? Why? I don't know. She's going to take it. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know how to face her. You don't even know how to face her. Mona, listen. Okay? Let me be the master planner. Alright? I will invite Juan and yourself to my house. Okay? Then you can break the news to her. Tell this girl you're married. Okay? I guess she go verse. And she will move on and live happily ever after with another man. Seriously? You don't need to hold this information from her. It's not helping her, bro. You're being unfair to this girl by not telling her the truth. Tell her make she verse once and she'll move on. And that is it. Easier said than done. I'm scared what her reaction would look like to this news. I don't know how she's going to take it. It's difficult, bro. Oh, I've said my own. I've just told you what I feel is the best for you. Just tell her the truth. Tell her you're married. Huh? You can't keep holding this information from her. It doesn't make sense, bro. She'll keep haunting you, keep coming for you. Just tell her once so she'll just, she'll just move on with her life. That's the truth. There is no other way. This is the only way, my brother. Tell Joanne the truth that you're married. In your, in your head now you have sense. Muna, so this is the Ghana you told me you went to and you are going to spend two weeks. This place looks like Ghana up here. Eh, no, I'm asking you to talk for me. Oh, 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 oh. Calm down now. Uh, who are you telling to calm down? Now? Me. I should calm down. See, if you want to go to a private place and talk, then we will go to your house. In Anuya, your house. Meanwhile, did that useless get man of yours tell you what he did to me? Do you know what that useless guy Why did to me? Screaming? Relax, let me explain now. He didn't tell me anything. Let's go somewhere private and talk. Eh, okay, your house. It is your house or I will not go anywhere. You can't go to my house. Why? I'm still going back to the office. Eh, well, I will stay here and wait for you. No, see, listen to me. The Ghana uh, no. trip, there's something about, about the trip. I have to go to eh, the office. Eh, 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 eh. That is the one that will make me angry. Do I look like a fool? Do I look like a fool to you? Ungwa, tell me, what is the problem? No, talk to me. Is there any girl? Because this shenanigan is getting too much. Is there any other woman? There is no girl. There's no woman. Stop it. So what is the problem? Let's go somewhere present and talk. No. It's either we go to your house or I go nowhere.
Hello, Obim. I'm fine. How are you? I'm okay. I'm just uh, writing the things that I'm going to buy in the market. So that I will cook shasha for you when you come back. <laughs> eh? Obim, you're not coming back today. Why now? What happened? Hey! So only me will sleep in this whole house. <laughs> you know that Silas used to sleep outside now. Okay, Obi, please just take good care of yourself. Don't allow anything to happen to you, okay? <laughs> okay, I love you too. Bye bye. -bye. Oh, all right. Hey. Fredo, I have something, or would I say I have a news that is not that pleasant. Go ahead, what is it? I know why Joan rejected you. Now I know. Why? She has a man in her life. You know, she once told me this, but I never believed her. Then you have to believe her. I saw them both with my eyes. Like... You need to see the way Joan was standing and in fact, if you were there, bro, you would not even want to call that or see that girl again. Wait. You mean you saw Joan with this man that you talked about? Absolutely. Not too long. I saw in fact, uh, Fred, just I don't know what to say, but yeah. They were they looked very happy. In fact, Joan looked so happy. Fred, Joanne is interested in another man, and you're here killing yourself. This is unbelievable. I can't believe that Joanne can do this to me. <laughs> Seriously. You know how much I love this girl? You know how much I've tried to express my feelings to this girl? Then, then start <sighs> believing it. I saw them both with my eyes. This one is not like someone told me, or someone said this or that. I saw them with my eyes. Better believe it. Better let go. Let's go. Eddie, please just stop. Uh, yes. ah, what is the problem with you? Oh, Madam, I should be asking you that question. Eh? Are you okay? Madam, I'm okay. I say get out. Madam, you Leave know they're possible. Call on get for phone. Who are you? Who, who, who are, are you? you to Madam, Madam, Madam. 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 Madam, Sai! Sai Ogini! I go not do Is it not this, this stupid woman? Eh? Which woman? He called the same make a open gate for and say where he wants to see your girl and say, tell your girl to call, to, to call me for phone. Eh? Now this mad woman, no? Hey, Joma. Joan. Una, no, I'm Una, Seth. Joan. I don't lose my job. Hello, Silas. Silas, what are you saying? My house? You mean she's in my house right now? Oh, damn it. Silas, why did you allow her in now? Why did you open the gate for her? Oh, you shouldn't have. Eh, you should have locked her outside. Eh, what did you say? They seem to know each other. For real? Okay, no problem. I'm coming home. I'll be home soon. All right? Hello, Eric. Eric. Ah, oh, man. My house is on fire. My house is on fire. Guess what? Joan is in my house right now. Yes. As I speak to you, she's in my house. I, I don't know what to do. Go back. As a cop, no, 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 I can't return right now. No, I'm going home. If not for anything, for the safety of my wife. Yes. Okay, I'll talk to you later, okay? Damn. 
Sister, I don't, I don't understand. What are you doing here? I'm still very happy seeing you. Like, Anyan Jifuge, eh? Ya, Pokwana. Sister, so this is you. Look at your fine clothes. Everything is just fine. <laughs> Ina shiny. Mm. Sister. Mm. Hi. Sister, drop one mouth. Hey? It's not fair. You, you, you just left us like that. And then you ran away with, with that man. But you know why I had to leave? You know. They tried to stop me from being with the man I love. Stanley, you must Stanley now. Eh? And I had to live with him to the city. Ha! Sister boy, it's not fair. How can you use because of Muke, a man? You turn down your parents' orders and then you run away. But, you, but you know that Stanley was not just any man. He was not a stranger. He was the man I fell in love with. Her sister was. Oh. I don't understand. What do you mean by was? Stanley died a few years after I left with him to the city. Oh, para Jesus. Mm. You mean Stanley is dead? Hey, that's good man. He was a nice man. Very calm. The only problem I, I had with him, he was the person that made you to leave us and <laughs> run, run away with him. Stop blaming him. I mean, leaving was the best thing I could do at the time. I was really in love with him. I loved him with my whole life. Child. And I would not have allowed anybody to come between us. Sister, I'm so sorry. Mm. Eh? I'm very, very sorry. But why didn't you come back to us when he died? <laughs> you didn't even miss me, your only sister. I was not ready for Mama and Papa's trouble at all. You know them very well. In fact, the thought of what they were going to say to me or what they were going to do to me stopped me from coming. But you know, that was a time I had a lot of problems. Ah, it was as if everything was against me. Chai. It was a very rough and tough time. I actually kept thinking of you people. Especially you. Yeah. I thought of Mama, I thought of Papa. But then... I landed a job and I fell in love again. <laughs> love again. <laughs> yeah. Chai, sister, I'm so happy for you. My name is You know me now. Eric, do you know you are wicked and heartless as your friend Mona? And I was thinking you're a good man. Then I don't understand. Don't even lie or pretend. Juan was good to you. We are good friends to you guys. I mean, the least you could do for her is to tell her the truth. Or encourage your friends to tell her the truth. Stella, I don't understand what you're saying. Seriously, I don't have the clear picture of what you're saying right now. <laughs> you don't understand what I'm talking about, really? That's the truth, I don't. You know what? You were a disappointment. Excuse me. Stella. Um, I'm sorry I lied to you, okay? Please, um, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to lie to you. You know it's not my place to snitch on my friend Mona. Mona is my best friend and you know it. Oh, so because he is your best friend, you will support him even when he's being unfair in his relationship, right? Stella, you know my friend Mona. I told Mona to go to Joan to tell her the truth before now. But he wouldn't listen. He still went ahead with a marriage without listening to me. Marriage? Wait, wait, wait. Yes? Did you just say marriage? As in he... He is married? Yes, he is. Hey. I, I thought you knew. 
<laughs> but you still haven't told me what you're doing here. <sighs> Sister, a lot has really changed. Mm. You know, since you left the village, so much has happened. I'm married. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, and this is my husband's house. <laughs> Wait, this is your husband's house? Yes, we just got married. You just got married? Yes. Uh, baby, I'm home. Baby. <laughs> Is he your husband? Yes, he's my husband. <laughs> Mona, what have you done? What have you just done? I need to understand you. What did you just do? Uh, uh, I can explain. Wait, wait. wait. What? You just do. Sister, why are you attacking my husband that just came back from work? We last now. <laughs> oh, ben, what is that? <laughs> this this beast. This beast here deceived me. Mona, you deceived me? Is that what you did? You went behind my back to get married. Is that what you just did to me? No, I need to hear it from your mouth. Is that what you did to me? Explain. But Jesus, explain. Lord. I, I mean, I, I can't. I, 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 I can explain that. Yeah. Wait, sister. I want to understand something. You, you mean this is the same man you told me you fell in love with? Yes. Hey. We have been together for years. We have been going out for years. I have been dating him since I lost Stanley. We talk every day, we talk every night. And you went behind me to get married without even telling me. And to make matters worse. You got married to my younger sister. Is she your sister? Yes! She's my sister! I'm very sorry. Please forgive me. Okay? I'm deeply sorry. I, I, I didn't know. I didn't know she's your sister. I'm sorry, okay? I can explain. Please. You can explain. Explain what exactly? Mona, there is nothing you will ever explain to me that I will ever listen to. You deceived me. You deceived me, Mona. Help! 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 How am I supposed to know she's your sister? How am I supposed to know? Even at that, even if you don't know she's my sister, so you could not be decent enough to end things amicably with her. What kind of a human being are you, I ask you? What kind of a human being are you? Now you broke her heart. And here I am, my heart is broken. My heart is shattered. You're happy, my heart. Hell, Chibo. Hey, God, 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 God. What do I do? Baby, I swear I was going to tell you the truth, okay? But I was just, I was just thinking of how I'll confront her. What did Joanne do to you? What exactly did she do to you? Because I know my sister very well. 
<laughs> I know my sister, she's not a bad person. No, she's not a bad person. What did she do to you that you have to do this to her? I'm not saying she's a bad person, okay? It's just that I decided not to get married to a city girl. Oh, really? Yeah. And here you are. You're the worst city guy I've ever seen and met in my life. You're the worst. And now listen to me. You see this marriage? You see this marriage? It's over. Because I'm going there to pack my things and go back to the village. I hate you. It would Ijama. get so. Ijama. Ijama. I hate you. Ijama, listen to me. Ijama. Stella. Why is life treating me like this? I just do not understand it. Why is life treating me this way? Why have I become one with misfortune when it comes to relationships? I thought Mona came to dry my tears. I thought he was the one God sent to rewrite my sad love stories. I thought, I thought he was real. I, Stella, you know, you know I was willing to do anything. I was willing to give anything for that relationship to work. I was willing to do anything to keep him. I, 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 I was willing to sacrifice my life for that relationship. Joan. I thought I had won. I... Joan, please. It's okay. Just calm down. What breaks my heart the most is that the person in question is your younger sister. Hmm. Like you haven't told me anything about her before. You know, I... I left her and my parents in the village and followed my heart to the city. Yes. I followed the love of my life to the city. Yet life happened. The same thing happened. It will not allow me to be happy for long in a relationship and I do not understand why. What kind of useless fate do I have? I mean, I don't understand. What kind of useless wow. destiny? What kind of useless Please. destiny was Stop I caused to? Stop saying this to with? yourself. Stop saying this to yourself. What happened to you has happened to a lot of people. It's just that you are not close to them. I am sorry that everything turned out this way for you. I am deeply sorry. Please. I just want you to stop crying. Okay? Stop crying, okay? Um, so, how about your younger sister? What do you intend doing with her? Are you telling me that you saw your sister with your two naked eyes? Yes, Papa. Papa. You saw her with your two naked eyes? I saw Juan, she's alive, yes. Mama Juan is Mona's ass that he dumped to come and marry me. What? <laughs> Juan is alive. She's so, alive and strong, Mama. So where is she? <laughs> Mama, she left the house heartbroken. My sister left the house heartbroken when she found out what Mona has done. Oh. Okay. <laughs> but she didn't bring me free to come home with you. Anyway, I am glad Joanita is alive. Come on, go to the house My daughter. <laughs> I would rather advise you go back to your husband. Papa. Go back to your home. Mm -hmm. I will never go back to Mona. Mona is a liar, a big liar. Mama, I can't live with a man that is a liar. 
<laughs> you see, your father is right. No matter what, you cannot abandon your home. Mama, Biko, enough. Eh? Enough, Mama. So you expect me to be dragging a man with Adan Nemo? I should drag a man with my own sister, my Adan Nemo. Yes, I understand. You did not know that your sister was dating your husband. But you cannot just leave a man that is legally married to you for what I do not know. My, my dear, I, I'm your father. I cannot lie to you. Go back to your husband. <laughs> Talk to your daughter. I lost out. My marriage is gone. I should have listened to you. I should have been man enough to sit her down and tell her about my intentions of getting married to another. Now see. I knew to come to this. You can't eat your cake and have it. You can't hide the truth forever. But you need to calm down, my friend. Just calm down. Everything will be fine. What do you advise I do now? I'm confused. <laughs> there is nothing you would do than to go look for your wife. Joanna is hot and fine, but she just have to accept reality and move on with her life. Let's concentrate on getting your wife back. You don't get it. I, I lied to my wife. I looked at my wife eyeball to eyeball and told her lies. It's unfair. Eh? What do I do now? Let's concentrate on getting her back, okay? Forget about Joanne. We'll sort out Joanne's issue later. For now, your wife confessed. Let's look for her and bring her back. Just try and explain things to her. I believe she will understand. Do your, your face. I don't think your wife will want to see your face right now because she is hurting. But you still need to look for her. Fred, what are you doing here? Um, Stella, please, I'm here to see Joanne. You know my friend will be mad at you if she returns and finds you here. Um, she's not at home. <laughs> she's not at home, but she'll be back soon. What are you doing here? You can't be here, not now. Listen, Stella. I just need her to talk to me. I need her to say to my face that she doesn't want me. What are you talking about? <sighs> Stella. You know how much time I've invested in this? You know how much I love Joanne? You know how much I want to be with her and all that? I've put in a whole lot of effort to make sure we work, but it seems like all my effort she's not interested in. I just want her to look me in the face and tell me that she doesn't want me so I can move on with my life. I am tired. Still, I'm tired. I wish you could feel me. I wish you could see my heart and know how I feel. I'm tired. Tell me, Stella, is she engaged to another man? Hmm. I can't have this conversation with you right now. Stella, please talk to me. Tell me, please. It's fine. It's okay. She is in love with another man. What? But wait, it's complicated. How do you mean it's complicated? What are you talking about? What I am trying to say is that she is in love with a married man. Hey! Hey! Chukwo Kike, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Mama, stop this now. Eh? What is it you're doing? Uh, why are you willing? Eh? I came home to seek solution. I need to reconcile with my wife. You said it's her sister we're talking about here. Yes, they are sisters, but I didn't know. How am I supposed to know? Hmm. Monachi, you have to go and see her people. Go and talk to her people. Oh, and hear them out. I can't. Uh, Mama, I, I can't. Uh, she just came back. Uh, I'm sure she must have told them everything. The 
be mad at me if I go alone. I know, but you have to go. You have to go alone. Go alone. Explain yourself again. Explain everything to them and hear them out. Later, I will go to and then talk to them. But I have to ask you a question. Now you discover that she's a sister to your ex. Do you intend to continue with the marriage? Mama, if I have no intention to continue with the marriage, I won't be here right now. Yes. Then go and explain yourself to them. Explain things to the parents. Hear them out. Hear what they will say. Oh? Another one. Hey. Mama, that man broke my sister's heart. And you're asking me to go back to him. Did you consider what you're saying to me, Mama? I don't want to go back to that marriage. I don't. Ijoma. Mama. Ijoma. You are neither your sister. You're soliciting for. Left your father and I, including you. She turned her back on us. When does she begin to matter so much in your life that you are ready to relinquish your marriage for her? Who does that? I mean, who does that? Mama, I did not leave my marriage because of my sister. I'm leaving my marriage because I discovered the type of man I'm married to. It's not healthy for me, Mama. It's not. So you are willing to give up your marriage for Joanita? <laughs> Mama, we're not talking about marriage here. We're not. But that is the implication. If you leave your husband because you are mad at him, he will go for your sister Joanita. When he finds out you are not willing to forgive him, it's as simple as that. So choose wisely. I think it's about time for you to travel to the village and see your people over this issue. I don't want to see my parents for now. Why? Because you'll be afraid of what they are going to say when they set their eyes on you. Of course. Joan, this is the perfect time for you to travel to the village. Yes. I am sure they are not going to talk about the past when there is an issue on ground. I want you to travel to the village. Please. Unless you want to leave Mona for your younger sister. You know, I really do not mind leaving Mona for her. I really do not care anymore. Besides, he's already married to her, so I mean, she can have him. I just do not want to see my parents now. Hmm. I can't believe you are the one saying this. After all you have sacrificed. It's okay. Mwam, when I heard you came back, I thought you came back for Christmas. Little did I know that there is fire on the mountain. My dear, I, I am sorry things gone out this way. I am sorry. And uh, I blame my son here for breaking someone's heart and coming to be with another. I am sorry. But I know Mona here, he has his reason for wanting to be with another person. What you did is not good, but forgive me, please. Mama, did Mona tell you his ridiculous reason for not marrying a city girl? Uh, well, I have my reasons. Yes. I've had my own fair share of heartbreaks. 
each time my heart is broken. A city girl is often responsible. Yes, I have suffered in the hands of these girls that live in the city. So I said to myself, enough is enough. I can't keep suffering this. No. Because these city girls you see, they are so malicious, so materialistic, and so promiscuous. Well, it is quite unfortunate that uh, in this case, we were talking about your sister. I'm sorry about that. I'm not referring to my sister, Mama. I'm just, I'm just scared because Muna here might change his mind tomorrow or do something tomorrow. EJ, you're my wife, okay? I will never have any reason to dump you. Never. I'm ready to do anything, anything it takes to keep you. I promise I will never break your heart. I'm saying this in front of my mom. We are here to stay together forever. Gentlemen, you've heard him. Huh? Smile now. He has repented and a changed person now. He has promised you that he will never dump you. Please, Bara. Hmm? Bara, oh, you know go? Why now? Why now? <laughs> Fred, you have not even told me why we are celebrating this whole, this whole thing. I don't understand. What's the reason? <laughs> Edu, Edu, my man. My man, Fred, we talk it. What? I didn't lose after all. You didn't lose what? I don't understand. <laughs> I didn't lose Juan to any man. It has been confirmed. How? How? <laughs> it did too like gist. I went to carry me come out. I left to hear gist. How about the dream? I know what the drink eh? I met Stella, her friend, yeah. and she confirmed to me that Juan, my woman, yeah. is in love with a married man. A married man? That means that, ma that man that I saw her with. That man is a married man. Oh, he's so obvious. Ah, I don't even reason now. Women, they are so shameless. Imagine living a vibrant young man like me <laughs> for such a man. Ah, Women, relax. they don't get shit. Relax, relax. It's because of money. It's because of money. Because the man is rich. Yeah. You understand? Know, oh, it's obvious now. How about? They do. How about? They do. There's something I think we should do. Mm -hmm. eh? We let the man's wife know what her husband is doing with that. Juan will leave the relationship peacefully and gently come to me and me. I will be here to welcome her with my arms open. Hi, ah, eh? Jesus Christ. Look at how you reason. But anyways, anyways, you know, eh, I'm still surprised at this point. Your eye never see come upon that woman, that Juan. Eh? Me, come on, eye for Juan. No, that, that girl give me eh? something to trouble. I swear. Girl, yeah, when, when do they let me sleep? If I close my eye and I draw and I deceive, <laughs> I won't no, take leave. No, you won't carry your tattoo pack for us. It's a love. It's not possible. Edu, it's not possible. I must take one belongs to me. Draw and my own. I still get hope. No, it wasn't. I know she's going to go for me. No, it wasn't your daughter. Your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Like don't listen, don't, don't listen, go drink. After here, more, more, more go take the men. Drink up, oh. Let me drink up. Yeah. I'm, I'm taking your views today. Let me draw a matter down long. Drink up. say thank you very much thank you for putting everything that happened behind you and giving me a second chance I promise I'll never disappoint you I believe you 
But you have to settle with my sister. Ah. Uh, no, I, I, I don't even want to see her. You will see her? Yes. That's the mark of respect. You need to, you need to talk things over with her. She didn't do anything wrong to you. Remember, you wronged her. They will know I'm going to face her. You will face her just exactly the way you used to face her before. You will do that for my sake, won't you? Okay. I'll see her. Thank you. I love you. I love you too. Let's eat before the food gets cold. like you hurt me before? Is that it? Joan, I'm not here to hurt you. Rather, I I'm here to say I'm sorry. Hmm. To apologize to you. I know no man will be willing to do to any faithful lover what I did to you. But I don't know what came over me. I, I never wanted to get married to a city girl. I'm sorry, I, I was just using you to, to buy time. You are callous. You are callous and you are very wicked. My God! You, you, you disappoint me, honestly. You disappoint me. That is why I'm here to say I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know how to put it. I just want you to... I mean, have a space in your heart to forgive me, please. Do you know I would have walked away? I would have gladly walked away if you were human enough to tell me the truth. If you were human enough to tell me it was over. But no, because you are a soulless animal. You led me on. Now you're here to say you're sorry. My God, you are a monster. You, you, you can call me a monster. Call me anything you feel like. But I just want you to forgive me. It's too much to ask for, I know. But right now, that is the only thing I can ask for, your forgiveness. I'm sorry, Joan. I spent sleepless nights wondering what I did to you. Wondering how I offended you. I, I, I was confused because I know throughout our relationship all I gave you was unflinching love and support. I didn't know. I didn't know that all you wanted to do was hurt me. I didn't know that your evil plan was to hurt me. So are you happy now, Mr. Married Man? No, I want to know. Are you happy? John, stop it, okay? Please. If not for my sake, at least for the sake of your sister. I'm married to her already. And that is the only reason I am not ripping you apart right now. That is the only reason I am still standing here listening to your rubbish. But if you dare, if you dare hurt her, if you dare hurt her the way you hurt me, <laughs> you will not like me at all. Now out. Joel, listen. Get out of my house. See what I've brought upon myself. See what I've caused for myself. I never knew it will turn out like this. 
who can show me a way out? Had I known, had I known, I would have listened to my friend. Had I known, had I known, I would have made things right before now. Had I known, had I known, I would have listened to my friend. Had I known, did you get her forgiveness? I did. But it was quite tough. I understand. She's hurting me. And I feel responsible for it. Obim, <sighs> it's all right. Thank God she accepted your forgiveness. That's the most important thing here. Look, I don't want you to ever go back to her again. Okay? It's okay. Bye. Bye. So she's a good person. But I promise never to go back to work again. It's over between us. It's alright, baby. Joan, it's okay. You really did well by letting him go finally. I, I know it's not going to be easy. Please, just stop crying. He disappointed you, but I want you to let God judge him for what he did to you. Please, stop crying. I am so proud of you. Now is for you to move on. And give other men a chance to come into your life. Please, I know it's not going to be easy for you, but you just have to do this. Okay? Stop crying. Stop crying, please. Sister, thank you so much for coming to see me. How is your husband? My husband is fine. Okay. Mama and Papa, they were so excited and relieved. You know, hearing that you're still alive. Yes, sis, don't you think you should, you know, stroll down the village to go and see them? Not now. Where, sis? Is that why you called me here? No, I want to understand. Is that why you called me here? You know, left for me, I would not want to come to this house. You know that very well. I wouldn't even have come if not for the way you begged me on the phone. This used to be my man's house. I have a lot of memories here and there are things I want to forget. I understand. And honestly, I appreciate the fact that you chose to honor my invite. But sis, Papa is not getting any younger. You need to go and see him. That will make him feel a lot better and much alive. Even Mama too. They really missed you. It's been long. I will go and visit Mama and Papa when I deem it fit or when I think it is necessary to see them. Not now. Sis. This is it, eh? Joan, I'm asking you. I never knew. I never knew you could stoop so low as to take pictures of us when we're together and show it to my wife. What is your intent? I don't know anything about this. You don't know anything about this? No! Okay, good. My security man said it was given to him by two men. Two men? Yes, two men. The men you sent. 
Do not pretend as if you don't know what I'm talking about. You know the people I'm talking about. Uh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Firstly, I do not know anything about this picture or whoever took it. Secondly, I am trying to understand how this suddenly became my business. Joan, stop this nonsense, okay? Stop pretending as if you don't know what I'm talking about. You know what? We could have sorted this together by ourselves instead of you involving my wife. 